Did you know that over 30% of people who pass the FE exam are juggling full-time jobs, family responsibilities, and everything in between? It may seem impossible to carve out study time while balancing work and family life, but it's absolutely doable, and I'm here to show you how. Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video. In this episode, I'll share real, actionable strategies that busy parents, professionals, and students can use to make time for studying, acing the exam, and still being present for the people who matter most in your life. Whether you're a working parent, a stay-at-home parent, or a professional or student with a packed schedule, I will help you to develop a study plan that fits your lifestyle, keeps you motivated, and ensures that you're setting yourself up for success. Don't let a busy schedule hold you back from achieving all of your engineering career dreams. Let's dive in. Studying for the FE exam is a challenge, but when you add family, work, and life responsibilities into the mix, it can really feel overwhelming. You might worry about missing family moments because of study time, feeling guilty about taking time for yourself, and even doubting whether you can juggle it all. Well, first things first, these are feelings that are completely normal. Many aspiring engineers have faced the same struggles and still passed the exam, including me. If I did it, you can do it too. The key is to shift your mindset. This is a temporary challenge for a long-term reward. The sacrifices you're gonna make now will pay off for you and your family in the future. So here are some tips to get you started. Number one, create a realistic, flexible study schedule. The foundation of successful FE exam prep is time management. Instead of trying to study whenever you find time, schedule dedicated study sessions that fit into your routine. Start by mapping out your commitments, work hours, family time, meals, even self-care. Identify study windows, early mornings, late evenings, or maybe lunch breaks, whatever works best for you. Keep it flexible. Life happens. Kids get sick. Meetings run late. Build buffer time so you can catch up if needed. Even 30 to 60 minutes a day of study time will add up. Number two, focus on the most important topics first. Your time is limited, so study smarter, not harder. Instead of trying to master every topic, prioritize the areas that will have the biggest impact on your score. Use the NCWS exam specifications as a guide. It tells you exactly what to focus on. Practice problems daily to make sure you're reinforcing concepts. Summarize notes in your own words to boost retention. Use flashcards for quick reviews when you have a few minutes here and there to spare. Take full length practice exams to simulate the test day. By focusing on high yield topics and active learning, you will retain more in less time. Number three. Build a support system. Preparing for the FE exam can feel isolating, but it doesn't have to be. Surround yourself with support and accountability. Join a study group, whether in person or online. Having peers to study with helps to keep you on track. Ask family members for help. Delegate household tasks or ask for uninterrupted study time. Find an online community. There are forums and social media groups out there that can provide motivation and encouragement. For example, I know someone, let's call her Sarah. She had a full-time engineering job and two young children. She joined an online study group where she found not only resources, but accountability and support. And that support helped her to stay consistent in her preparation, and she passed the exam on her first try. Number four, communicate with your family. Speaking of support, your family plays a huge role in your success. Let them in on your journey. They're here to support you if you let them. Explain why passing the FE exam is important. Show them how it's gonna benefit everyone in the long run, including them. Share your study schedule so they know when you need uninterrupted time. Plan quality family moments like a weekend outing so they don't feel totally left out. Involve your children in small ways. For example, let them quiz you with flashcards. Studying doesn't have to mean sacrificing all of your family time. You just have to think about it and plan accordingly. Number five, use technology to your advantage. When you're on a tight schedule, technology can be your best friend. Study apps like Quizlet, Anki, or NCWS, those resources can help you to do quick reviews. Task managers, tools like Google Calendar or Notion can keep your study schedule organized. 
Timers, use the Pomodoro technique, a 25 minute study sprints to keep you focused. I use that all the time at work. By using the right tools, you can maximize your study time even while on the go. Lastly, number six, don't forget about self-care. Burnout is real and you can't perform at your best if you're running on empty. Prioritize sleep. Your brain needs rest to retain information. Make time for exercise. Even a short walk can help with focus. Take breaks when needed. Overstudying can be counterproductive. A healthy mind and body lead to better performance on exam day. Balancing family life, a full-time job, and FE exam prep isn't easy, but with the right mindset, plan, and support system, it's absolutely possible. This is just a short-term challenge that will lead to long-term career benefits and success for you and your family. Start small, stay consistent, trust yourself, and remember, you're capable of passing the FE exam, no matter how busy your schedule is. I hope you found this week's Pass the FE Exam video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.